Here again, this time I used one scoop, one spoonful of baking soda, same amount of water, and reversed the polarities. I don't know if it made a difference, but I feel better about this uh, this polarity setup versus the previous. Um, after about five minutes, it started to warm up. The wires got pretty warm, especially the negative right here at the base of the clip. And um, so I dumped it all out and put one scoop in. And now I'm pulling four amps. And before, I had almost made it up to nine amps. This started at 3 amps a couple minutes ago. Now we're up to 4 amps. Before I was at 6 amps and it made it all the way up to 9 amps, almost 9 amps. So 1 scoop versus 2. And you can see that this is going to be plenty of uh, HHO gas. This is going to be plenty of production. Um, with only one scoop, I don't think I need to do two scoops, which is good, which means that I can lower my amperage by about half, and hopefully these don't get hot. Before, I couldn't hold my hand here for very long because it was so hot that I had to move my hand, but now... I'm very happy with this. So that's it. That's what I'm going to use. I need to put this in here, right there, and then find a tube or use I may not use this one. I may try to find something else. I think that's a good diameter for the tube. Too thick, I know, can cause problems because it can get um, compressed in here. Too much compression in, in the tube is a very bad thing. Um, if it gets a kink in it, then that might cause a compression problem, and that would be very bad. But I think if I use this size and get the black fuel tubing that fits over here and use that instead of the clear stuff, then I should be okay. But um, here I have an idea. I've got a voltmeter here. Oh, this doesn't read enough amps. Never mind. Anyways. That is my setup right there. Thanks for watching.